Hi, I'm Michael Saylor here talking today about topics in bankruptcy once again. Today I want to talk to you about preferences. Uh, one of the forms that has to be completed when you file bankruptcy is called the Statement of Financial Affairs. And a couple of questions in there ask about debts that you have recently paid before you filed your bankruptcy case. One of the questions is, what did you pay? Uh, did you pay $600 or more within 90 days of filing in any particular debt? Uh, and another question asks if you have paid any relatives any money one year prior to filing. There's a reason these specific questions are asked. Um, let's say that you are going to file bankruptcy and um, for some reason you think, well, gosh, I, I'd like to keep this credit card or try and keep this credit card, so I'm going to pay it off. I'm going to pay $5,000 and pay it off. And then you file bankruptcy the next month. Well, you have... Uh, uh, done a preference. You have preferred that creditor over all the other creditors and frankly that's not fair. And the trustee when you file your case has the power to actually get that money back from that credit card company or whatever creditor you've paid it to and divide it equally amongst all of your creditors. Um, a lot of times this might be a medical bill for a doctor that someone doesn't want to insult uh, or a similar situation. So um, that is why that question is asked. And then there's also a question, have you paid any of your relatives money in the past year? Um, and it's the same theory, but uh, a lot of the times people borrow money from relatives and then they want to pay it back. But the problem is that, again, your relative is just another creditor, just like a credit card company or a collection company. And the way the court views it is, why should they receive a preference over the other creditors? And so if you pay back a relative in the year before filing, it's a lot longer time period, uh, then again, the trustee has the power to get that money back and divide it equally amongst all of your creditors. So if these issues come up, you really need to make sure you talk about it with your lawyer. Um, I had an issue the other day where I had a client come in and they borrowed money from a relative to pay off a car uh, because the person that wanted to buy their car didn't want it with a lien on the title. So they borrowed uh, $9,000 from their mother, paid off the vehicle, got the title from the lender, and then sold the car uh, to an individual, got the $9,000 and paid their mother back. Well, that shouldn't be a preference, right? Because the mother was really just paying off the, uh, the car loan, but that's not the way it worked. The way it worked was the person took a personal loan from their mother, and then use that money to pay off the car. So that is a preference and that does create a problem. So you have a lot of unusual situations like that that might not occur to you. So again, if there are any uh, payments to creditors uh, either uh, three months before filing to any regular creditor or one year before filing to a, uh, a friend or a business associate, make sure you tell your attorneys that they can properly advise you. This is Michael Sandler talking about your bankruptcy topics.